Hello, it is Sunday, so it is time for my uh, mental health vlog, and it is hot outside today. It's like 104, 105. They said the heat index was like 120 something, so oh. If you're in Houston, stay indoors, stay hydrated, stay cool, this crap, and run your AC. Screw ERCOT. Um, so right after I uh, posted my vlog last week, um, my boyfriend and I went to go see a movie. And um, it was like a thriller suspense type movie. Um, there was a scene where the father who is an alcoholic and evidently never dealt with the death of his wife and he was very abusive to his kids. He had two kids, a boy and a girl. The boy was older than the girl. And there is one scene where the dad gets his belt and he's just wailing away on his daughter. And it was very uncomfortable to watch. And that scene kind of stuck with me through the whole movie when we left the theater and got into the car i had a complete emotional breakdown um the movie had unlocked a uh, a lot of feelings that i had suppressed over the years and i was not handling them well and um i sent a message to my therapist saying I, I, I need to talk to you tomorrow, which was the 4th of July. And I had forgotten that, you know, Monday was the 4th of July. And she said, absolutely, when can you talk? So um, I told her I had to take my boyfriend down to Galveston because he was going on a cruise with one of his girlfriends and um, then I'd be back and we could talk. I have fully acknowledged that my dad was abusive physically and mentally. And, um, you know, I've, I've said things like, you know, he punched a hole in the wall when he was in my sister's room and he would, you know, I was, I lived in fear of him. And, and these are things that I've talked about before, but evidently a lot of the emotions that go with those facts had been, had been buried. Um, I, I or, or I had turned into jokes. Like I always said that, you know, back when you were able to be paddled in school, um, whatever I got at school, I got three times that amount at home. And I always joke, oh, that's how I learned multiplication. Um, and that's what I had done. I had turned those, those memories into um, jokes or I had just buried the feelings associated with them very, very deep. And um, this movie unlocked a lot of things. I remembered when the instance when, when there, the hole in the wall did get punched, I remember being outside my sister's door upstairs and just banging on the door because I, I wanted her to get out of there. I wanted her to be safe. I didn't want daddy to hurt her. Um, and I, and I like, like the feelings of that, mem that moment all came back. I remembered running from daddy when he had his Ailey Temple belt, his big thick leather belt. Um, I remember many times he would just be beating me with that belt and I would, I remember begging him to stop and screaming and crying and the bruises that he would leave. And these are things that I had buried pretty deep. And um, they all came up and uh, my therapist who is so awesome, she said she's not surprised that these types of things are starting to come up because the the brain tends to cope with trauma at times when a relationship has come to an end. And that made sense because my relationship with my father has come to an end. And I, I know I'm not going to see him or speak to him again. So my, my brain was taking the opportunity to, you know, to bring that trauma up to, to, to manage it and to deal with it. And, um, one of the things that my therapist and I thought would be a great idea for me to do would be to write two letters. One to my dad saying, 
all the things I've ever wanted to say, but felt that I didn't because I was scared, or I didn't because I didn't feel like he would listen or care, or I didn't feel like it would make a difference if I did. So she said, write that letter, put all that anger, put all that hatred, put all that fear and loathing and disgust into a letter and then burn it. So that was letter number one. And the other one is writing a letter to the younger version of yourself who is the one that's hiding in grandma and grandpa's closet or hiding in the attic or who runs away as soon as they heard the garage door open because he, they knew that dad was home and something was going to be wrong and it was probably going to be your fault whether it was or not. But to write a letter to that scared little kid and say all the things I needed to hear at that time. And I've had both of those letters on my to-do list. But I believe I've discovered something else about myself. Whenever I have some kind of emotional purge or 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 just this this getting everything out i i feel very in, in the days following i feel very emotionally stunted and i mean emotionally constipated honestly it's like i, I don't really fear i don't really feel happiness or joy or sadness or anger i don't really feel my body, you know, I, I, I seem to shut down. And I've gone through periods of time where I, I, I recognize where my body has shut down and, and not allowed me to really process or dig deeper. Or, and it's kind of like, it's putting up a stop sign, like you're done for now. And I'm not sure if that's something that I need to embrace or I need to find a way to work through. I feel like it's something that I need to work through. Um, but I'm, I'm, I've been very challenged this week. Um, my boyfriend also wasn't home this week, so I didn't really have, you know, that sounding board to, to really talk to and bounce things off of. But at the same time, I really didn't feel like talking or sounding off or sharing. It was just kind of like purge, 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 purge. Close up. Done. And I, I do, I still feel, I still feel very much in that shutdown mode. Um, like I was really excited when when I went to pick my boyfriend up Friday morning from his cruise, but at the same time, it was just, I felt very, I knew I was excited, but it was still very numb. I had my son this weekend. I was excited to see him, but I was still very numb. And um, I didn't like the feeling. I don't like that feeling. I want to be able to feel. I love being in touch with my emotions. I'm a very sensitive person. So it's been challenging to not really feel anything this week and I, I do I chalk it up to the traumatic events of last Sunday night so um, dealing with that trying to deal with that wanting to deal with that I can't say trying because I don't feel like I've done anything to try to push but it's just there's there's an apathy there to, to want to, to push through it so I'm definitely, I definitely am trying to dissect things a little bit more in my head. And it, it, of course that makes me in my head more and, and makes me very quiet. This week was very quiet. Um, I spent a lot of time purging some things and reorganizing some things and going through boxes that I just moved from, you know, the house to whatever, even boxes I had before the house, you know, just stuff I'd moved from years to years and decided I didn't need that, you know, most improved band member plaque from middle school or most outstanding, you know, band member plaque from high school. I mean, these are, these are not things I needed to keep. <laughs> um, so I, I did, I did some purging and it was, it was therapeutic. And there's a lot of stuff from my marriage that, um, those were memories I didn't need to hold on to anymore. So a lot of purging there. And when you are emotionally numb, that's the best time to go through and purge memory stuff. <laughs> Cause you, you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. 
junk. You know, just you, you don't feel anything. And, and that was a good place to be in for, for that project. But I got a lot of stuff done and organized and cleaned. And that was um, a good use of my time um, between, you know, working on patches. And, and I did not leave work on time at all this week. Um, it's been very, very busy. Um, Friday, we picked up my son. Um, we had him all weekend. We went to go see Frozen the Musical um, at the Hobby Center on Saturday afternoon. I love musical theater. I love Disney. Um, it was great. I was slightly annoyed that parents do not understand musical theater etiquette at all. Some parents don't. Um, several of them. I wanted to take their kid's little blinky snowflake magic wand and smack the parents upside the head with it. But, you know, I don't, I don't do things like that. In my head I do, <laughs> but not in real life, that's, that's illegal. Uh, and I don't want to set a bad example for my son. But I was uh, quite frustrated at the volume in the theater that wasn't coming from the stage and the amount of blinky things I saw. And, and, and uh, parents, if you're taking your kid to the theater, prepare for the moments that are slow and quiet to give something to your children to do to keep them entertained, please. For those of us that paid way too much for those tickets. Um, but I did enjoy the show. I did enjoy the show. And I need to focus on the good part. I did enjoy the show. Uh, my son enjoyed the show. My boyfriend enjoyed the show. And then the rest of the weekend, we were just staying out of the heat. Today, we ran a couple of errands, but we were not out very long. And um, no desire to be out very long. Did get our hair cut yesterday. Um, yesterday morning. And um, that was about it. Super exciting, right? Um, and then we have my son Saturday and Sunday of the upcoming weekend, which is my ex's birthday weekend, so I'm sure they're going somewhere or doing something fun. Um, Saturday night, my boyfriend got me tickets for my birthday to go see uh, the RuPaul Drag Race Work the World Tour. Um, so even though we have my son on Saturday, we have that Saturday night, so we, um, uh, my boyfriend's parents are gonna, are gonna watch uh, my son and they have a pool and, and my son likes them, so it should not be a problem. But I agreed to watch him before I looked at the calendar. Oops. But I, it's very hard for me to ever say, no, I don't want my son that weekend. <laughs> of course I want my son. <laughs> I'll spend as much time with him as I possibly can. <sighs> so anyway, that's kind of been my week. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stunted, I'm closed off. I'm not, I'm not being 100% Jordan and I'm frustrated by that because I I had this amazing breakthrough on Sunday night and Monday when I dealt with it with my therapist and then everything just shut back down so but my therapist was very proud of me for reaching out to her she's always said if you need me call me and I never have, have ever wanted to meet with her outside of my scheduled appointment well there have been times I've wanted to but I didn't want to bother her um, I didn't want to be like that high maintenance, you know, neurotic patient that, that calls her 24 seven. And, um, but she was awesome. And she took the time to meet with me on, on Monday. And it was, um, really great to work through some of the issues that I was, that I was, that had gotten brought up by the meeting or by the movie. The movie was black phone, by the way, if you have any, um, childhood trauma or history of abuse, um, maybe skip this one. Um, just kind of a heads up. Um, that's about it. Um, I have orders coming back in on my shop. Um, I've got uh, my machines running. They're not fast. They're not the greatest, but they're getting the job done very slowly. Um, but I got about 20 orders, so that's that's a good place for me to stay right now is about 20 orders. So that gets me a couple days to get patches done and ready to mail and whatnot. Anyway. So that's it right now. And then, you know, July 4th, I, I was very non-patriotic. I didn't really feel like doing anything for two reasons. One, I'm not well pleased with the country right now. And two, just because of the whole thing, Sunday night and Monday. Okay, I'm talking in circles. So that means it's time for me to wrap it up. Um, check in your friends, make sure they're doing okay. I have some friends that have Rona that's floating around again. So be careful out there. There are some places where they're already starting to say wear masks again. So, you know, make smart choices. And if you're not vaccinated, that's your own fault at this point. 
and um, check on your family, make sure they're doing okay. Um, I received a picture today, uh, the other day of uh, my sister and my mom, and it was great to see my mom looking so happy, like legitimately happy. I really enjoyed seeing that picture. Um, check on yourself, make sure you're doing okay. That's been hard for me this week, because I just haven't, I've just been very focused on project after project after project, like what's next, what's next. And I think that that was a great way for me to avoid dealing with my feelings in hindsight. So I gotta work on that this week. Schedule an emotional breakdown, noted. And check on your family, check on yourself. Okay, I said that already. Have a great week, you guys. Stay cool when you can. Um, and I will check in with you next week.